that. The eternal blink. The capricious dance of, now you stop moving forever. Well, contrary to popular belief, death isn't just for dead people. It can happen to anyone. I know. It's news to me, too. And it's not just people, either. It's all kinds of stuff. Horses, fiddler crabs. Did you know that even a potato can die? This man is mad. What do you mean he's not on the program? Crazy, right? A week ago, I wouldn't have believed me, either. A lot can happen in a week. Good Lord, the man stopped a volcano with a chunk of polar ice cap. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was at computer camp that summer, and they announced it over the loudspeaker. <laughs> I had his official sleeping bag, the one with all the pictures of him on it. Oh, some kid filled it with rocks and dumped it into Lake Kanapaki. Yes, well, that's the sort of skullduggery one must expect at computer camp. Oh, the man is absolutely indestructible. He flies. He's got the heat vision. Also, he was gay. Yeah, Janet, when you pick him up at the airport, ask him if he's gay. You know, I can't tell if you're more jealous of him or me getting to hang out with him. The latter. What I wouldn't give to be in your sparkly gold moccasins today, working side by side with the legend himself, the immortal. Well, I'm not really working with him, Tick. I've just been assigned to escort him while he visits the city on his book tour. Escort? So like a call girl? Huh? No, like an authorized representative of a very grateful government extending just a little bit of courtesy to a man who has saved the nation and the world about a thousand times. Plus, he saved the moon twice. Three times! Oh. Look at that. I gotta go. Wait, uh, what time does the book signing start again? Same time as last time you asked me, 1,700 hours. Later, boys. Well, it's 3 o'clock now. Chisel, Bob, that gives us... 1,697 hours to kill. No, it doesn't. Well, do the math, chum. 1,700 minus three. Tick, you are not sidetracking us today. Last time the immortal was in town, I waited outside his hotel for 15 hours to get his autograph. He never came out. Wait, wait, that was like five years ago. Right, it was snowing. I got a terrible cold. No, no wait. Five years ago, you were a man. A grown man. An adult man. Waiting in the snow like a 10-year-old for... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not what men do. Did you leave me alone? The immortal is the reason I wanted to become a superhero in the first place. I'm getting his autograph. I'm sorry, but that's just not cool. Oh, well, who made you the arbiter of cool? It's Batman Well's divine mission. You can do nothing about it. Batman Well, am I cool? I am the wild blue yonder, the front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we form the yin to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the tick. Man, after all, she likes you. Buckman Turner Overdrive. Look at this. He once fought a guy who was made entirely of black holes. Heavy. She's still looking. Why don't you ask her out? What? Do it now, Rabbit Man. Before she gets away and you never see her again. If you trust Batman Manuel, you will listen to him. This is his area of expertise. You trust Batman Manuel, yes? No. Do you have the time? Well, we have 1,696 and a half hours, little lady. Pick one. Oh. OK, thanks. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Your Holiness. Thank you for getting back to me so quickly. Uh, listen, uh, what is the god angle on this whole thing? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Great, so it's all good. Right. Thanks a bunch, Your Holiness. La Sivania. Okay, so you have the book signing from 5 to 7, the dinner with the mayor at 8. Oh, and then the Times interview starts around... You know, 
I've been watching your career very closely, Captain Liberty. Oh, you have? Splendid work. Splendid! Really? The UN has asked me to put together an international league of heroes, and I think you'd be perfect for it. Oh, wow. That's quite an honor. Plus, you may just have the greatest pair of legs in the whole galaxy. I, I live two blocks from here. Driver? You, you had the, the perfect opportunity back there to meet and eventually couple with a sweetly scented daughter of Eve, yet you hesitated. Will you drop it already? I did drop it, but it came back again. Look, Arthur, all I'm saying is when it comes to women, you must seize the day. Bad Manuel. What? No, no, uh, sl slow down, Janet. You what? You killed the immortal? I didn't. I just. She seemed so. And we were. And then sex. And then he. died. <laughs> no, 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 Janet, we, no, no, we don't need this. No, no, no. The, the situation isn't hopeless, huh? But Manuel is here now. They're gonna court martial me for this. I'm gonna lose my job, and then I'm gonna go down in history as the woman who killed the immortal. Oh my God, how could this happen? Come now, Janet. Th th this is simply a hero dying in the saddle. It's a story as old as the hills. Don't blame yourself, even if others do. Not helping. Okay, don't worry. Look, look, we'll, we'll just uh, drop his body in the river or something. No one will be the wiser. What happened to your hair? He has heat vision. He had heat vision. When he got excited, he would... Oh. <laughs> Whoa, there's some cool for you. You're the immortal. You can't die. Oh. I really blew it, didn't I? <laughs> yes! Yes, there's that Janet we all know and... And yes. No! OK, we're losing Arthur now. Tick, come on. Right, I'm on it. All right, let's forget the river. Uh, what, what hotel was he staying at? The Worcester. Then that's where we'll leave him, all right? We can't do that. He has to be a book signing in like 10 minutes. And when he doesn't show up, I'm going to be up Crap Creek. My god, there's got to be something we could... What size are you? I'm Batman well sized. Why? Oh, we can't be doing this. It's disrespectful. It's it's wrong. Liberty said we were saving a hero's image. Sounds like right to me. Right? There's nothing right, Tick. The immortal is dead. The immortal is dead. Yes, well, let's not point out his shortcomings, chum. <laughs> Okay, people, settle down. We had a couple problems, but he is here now. Right. Janet, no, I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, you big girl, you promised me. That was before I changed my mind. This is a crazy person plan. Come on! Well, mobiles, the cat's pajamas. We gotta get one, chum. Take it, please. All right, what's the plan, man? We gotta get hip to the big sneaky if we're gonna slip our dead friend into his hotel room without being seen. Shouldn't we uh, have a moment of silence or something? Okie doke. Here's what I don't get, chum. The immortal talks about the hardships of growing up poor and dyslexic. He lists all the incredible things that he's done, and yet nowhere in his book does he mention the fact that he's dead. What are you talking about? He just died. Huh? That's what happens, Tick. One minute you're alive, you're a hero to the whole world, a hero to me. The next, poof, you're dead. Oh, come on, chum. You make it sound like it could happen to anybody. Well, who do you think it happens to? Well, you know, dead people. Everybody dies, Tick. Everybody? Even horses? Yes, horses, everybody. Everybody? You're positive? This comes as quite a shock. Cats? Yes. You? I better sit down. 
Hold us for a second. Jump. Uh, could you make it out to Kevin, my number one fan? Sure, I. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, it is so awesome to meet you in person. When did you grow a goatee? All right, people, let's just keep that line moving. I'm gonna grow a goatee. <laughs> you know, you should soak it up while you can. It's the closest you're ever gonna get to being a real hero. Please, I'm a better hero than the immortal. I slept with you lots of times. I never died. Now, Liberty said room 406. It's probably that one. The balcony. He'd have a balcony, don't you think? What difference does it make? I could throw him that far. I mean, what does she expect us to do? You think they're not going to notice a dead superhero being dragged through their lobby? Oh, God, they're going to put us away for this, aren't they? We're going to be on the news. Oh, yeah. I can do this. Take no! We have a plan B. Happy reading. It's a subpoena, sir. Your paternity hearing is in a week. Good day. Paternity? No, 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 no. I settled that out of court. Ah, oh, it's not for me. It's, it's for me. The... Paternity hearing? No, this has got to be a mistake. The immortal would never... Sleep around? Oh, oh Janet, please. Are you that naive? Oh, you're not really having an attack of I thought that was the only ones, are you? Come on, the man was a celebrity. Just once, I would like to meet a man who is nice and funny and superhuman. Someone who's exactly who they say they are. Well, look no further. Ooh, there they are. Potatoes? Potatoes, too? A potato can die? Yes, Dick, even potatoes. Ludicrous. Ah, all done, good captain. Great. We might actually pull this off. Did anybody see him? No, nobody, and we took side streets all the way back uptown. You mean all the way back downtown? Tell me you didn't leave him at the downtown Worcester. Yep, and it uh, couldn't have gone smoother. Here's your fancy blanket back, and you might want to get this washed. Uptown! What? He is staying at the Uptown Worcester. Now you're gonna get us thrown into jail, you dinks! Well, you didn't say which one. Yes, I did. Now you go back there and you get him. Go back? No way. I had a fake an epileptic seizure in the lobby. It was horrible. Oh, no, Chum, you were great. Go now. Oh, some guy jammed his wallet into my mouth. I can still taste it. Please. Fine. Put me down. So who do you think would win in a fight? You or the Hulk? Oh. Oh. Stiff and still. Sorry. Hello. Housekeeping. Never sit uptown. No! No! Jeez! Oh. farther than it was. Yes. Good thing this fella's invulnerable, or we would have had a real mess on our hands. Well, just for kicks, let's look at the word funeral for a moment. Starts with the word fun, doesn't it? You know, I see out there are a bunch of sad faces. Well, the Grim Reaper's an ugly customer. I'll grant you that, but you know who's worse? It's Mr. Mope. I say to you, watch out, folks. Because old Mr. Mope's got y'all wrapped up in the wet blanket of his mopey. Are you hanging in there, chum? How am I hanging in there? How do you think? Everything is upside down. There is no order to the universe. 
How can I be a superhero in a world where the immortal can die? He was the immortal! I'm... I'm... I'm just hypoglycemic. What chance can I possibly have? Well, boy, howdy, you got some serious bucking up to do. What chance do I have? Life is your chance, Arthur. Grab it! Squeeze the milk of life into your dirty glass and drink it warm. I'll tell you what, if death does happen to everybody, then I submit. And follow me here if you can, because this gets wiggy. I submit the very presence of death is what makes life all the more precious. Oh, yeah, that's brand new. Wow. Hey, hey, that, that's not the way to treat the manual mobile. Kid gloves, Arthur. Oh, get in the car, you big girl. I'm driving. Oh. What is he doing in the back seat? Do you want to get caught? Have you never heard of a trunk? I tried that, but he doesn't fold up so easy anymore. Oh. Oh. You know, if you'd asked out the girl from the panda when I told you, you'd be on a date right now, instead of driving around in the makeshift hearse of your childhood hero. Just something to think about for next time. Oh, no, 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 come on! Police guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's it. We're dead. Janeth, calm down. Let the immortal do the talk. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> That was weird. So this is how you handle things, Shut eh? up. Arthur, stay here with the body. No, I... We gotta go check this Wait. out. Come on. We... Come on. Oh. Crazy day, huh? Oh, God! Why, why, why are you doing this to me? What do you want? The tick was right, Arthur. You got to grab on the life while you can. No, no, I'm not hearing this. You're dead. True. You're gonna die someday too, Arthur. Maybe tomorrow, maybe years from now. Since you don't know when it will be, you just got to seize the day. Okay, okay, coast is clear. Manuel, you go to the front desk. The sight of the immortal checking in should be enough of a distraction to get us through the lobby. Arthur, you keep the motor running. You're on getaway. Get away? You lucky duck. Oh, God! Excuse me! Look. I'll probably be arrested soon, and then, of course, I'll be dead. But before all that happens, I just wanted to say... Hi. Hi. Hey, this looks just like the room in the other place. Could have left him there. He wouldn't have known the difference. Incredible, yes. Can we get away from the dead person now before we're all arrested forever? Good heavens, all we did was give a dead guy a lift. The fuss. Are you out of your mind? My God, Tick, what planet are you living on? Planet me. Planet stupid. Hey, hey, hey. Don't take it out on the Tick. He didn't hop into bed with a national treasure and kill him with his pink secret. It wasn't my fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. Why is everybody yelling? I know this isn't a future thing. I know it's a now thing. So don't worry. I have no expectations. I mean, I have literally none. But I really like to, uh, to... Friends are waiting. Right. Um, before you go, can I get the, uh, my phone number? Yes. <laughs> You're not paying for the room. What do you care? I don't. I care about the fact you're still in that costume, stupid. We have to put it back on or it'll look suspicious. Oh. Oh, fine. Did you bring my clothes? <laughs> Unbelievable. I cannot wait to go home and be Batman well once more. Hey, it's those police guys again. I knew it. I knew we wouldn't make it through this. Oh, God, why didn't I just fess yeah, up? Jonathan, relax. I told you before I would take care of everything. After all, I am Batman well. <laughs> 
Officers, that uh, seems to be the problem. Well, this vehicle has about $8,000 in unpaid parking violations, and we are going to impound her. Are you bat manual? Bat Manuel. <laughs> no, I never heard of it. Well, look at me. Babbling like the brook that knew too much. The MPs are ready to tackle him off the stage, sir. Hmm. Belay that for the moment. Starting to like the cut of this man's gibberish. I believe we're all gathered here today to say goodbye to our dead friend, the immortal. So let's do that, shall we? Bye, Morty. Hey, now, no one's saying that death isn't sad, but it's also the Mount Everest of life. When I say when your time comes, climb it. Who knows what wonders may lay at the icy summit of Death Mountain. Might be nice up there. And think of all the people that have gone before you. You may get to shake hands with some of the greatest minds in human history. But again, I don't know, maybe death's just nature's way of saying, try again. Thank mm -hmm. you.